we know uh, that uh, that too many people are watching as homes are being purchased, uh, you know, by deep pocketed investors. Uh, well, those homes should be places that uh, that people can raise their family in. Uh, instead of making investors rich, instead of having these folks be, uh, uh, make fortunes on our houses, those houses should be homes for people. But I've heard far too many stories over a number of years now, and it's gotten a lot worse. Stories of young people who have absolutely given up hope. Uh, what we are saying is there is hope. And there's hope because we can we can make a change in Ontario so that you, you do have uh, a, a, a pathway forward to be able to, to buy your own home, to be able to live in your own community. I hear stories of young people who not only have uh, completely given up, uh, but of course we see uh, people who are left uh, kind of in their parents' homes a lot longer than they want to be uh, because they simply can't afford their own place. Uh, we see folks that are uh, making decisions to move far away from the communities they love uh, because that's the only thing uh, that they can do to find a place that they can afford. What our plan does is make sure Sure, uh, that over the next 10 years we'll have 1.5 million homes available uh, for for people to be able uh, to purchase uh, and to be able to rent affordably. That's what folks tell me they want to see. You can't really build a life uh, without getting out on your own and, and having a, a roof over your head to, to call your own. Last year we had more housing starts, over 100,000 housing starts since 1987. We had 13,000 uh, rental starts and that's more than we've seen in over 30 years. We're going to hit our targets of 150,000 homes a year and how we're going to do it, we're working collaboratively. Uh, we had that task force, we moved forward with it, everyone seemed to be very happy and we had stakeholders from right around the province come together but most important uh, and we're doing this. The province is giving the tools to the municipalities, number one, to standardize the process right across the province, to speed up getting the permits out there, cutting red tape and regulation. Compared to the NDP and Liberals, they don't believe in development. They just don't. In the coming days, when we release our platform, you'll see more details about the bold and ambitious housing plan that Ontario Liberals have. Uh, so stay tuned for more details. But I will say it's been deeply disappointing, I know, for Ontarians, in particular for renters and first-time homebuyers, to have watched over the past four years. So let's remember for those who might not, four years ago in the last election campaign, Doug Ford stood at one of the leaders' debates, and by the way, unprompted, said to one of the audience questioners, if you elect me, I'm gonna make it easier and cheaper for you to buy a home. Four years later, the average cost of a home in this province has gone up under Doug Ford half a million dollars.